Wix branded app tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up the Wix app and then you can control it from your mobile phone with the app of a Wix owner. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over wix.com. After that, you're going to sign in for your account. After you have signed in into your account successfully, you will see here the list of the website that you own on the seats or the sites dashboard. If you don't have a website yet, I highly recommend you to create one. But in case this is the first time that you are going to uh, sign in or sign up for Wix, you're going to get this page after you have uh, set and filled all the information about you. So you will see here uh, this specific um, page. Then you are going to choose between a uh, Wix Studio or the standard Wix editor. Go ahead and choose one of these and then you are going to get to the next step. Now, in my case, I will go ahead right there and select a website that I own. So I will only go ahead and choose one of these two. So let's go ahead and choose this one. I'm going to click on select and edit site. Here it will load up the dashboard of the Wix uh, website. As you can see here, this is the dashboard. This is the control center uh, of the uh, Wix uh, platform or your Wix website. So here we have the home page. We have the getting paid. We have uh, the payment methods. You can go ahead and set up the payment methods if you are going to run some subscriptions or some uh, products going on or some stores and etc. So how to enable the mobile app right here on this menu you're going to drop down a little bit into the site and mobile app click on it and then we have a little menu so we have the website SEO site speed uptime and mobile app so we are going to select mobile app after that you're going to see right there uh, the loading of this page so this is the uh, mobile app. I think it is alive, as you can see here. You can go ahead and click on view on mobile. Then you are going to download the, uh, the app of Wix owner or the spaces by Wix app on your mobile. Then you are going to set up the rest of the app. So you can edit the mobile app from here. Then you are going to click on edit. And as you can see here, we have the sections of the different elements. So here you can go ahead and click on get your own branded app. We're going to click on it. And here we have the uh, branded app. As you can see, this was the spaces by Wix, which is a um, uh, app for them. Where we have here the branded app mobile. So we are going to click on get started then you're going to wait for it. So as you can see, we can customize here the website or you can go ahead and choose the app right there from, let's say here, I'm going to put Jack's sample. Then you can go ahead and load up uh, an image as an icon for your website. Here we have this specific, as you can see here, file, you can go ahead and upload one. So let's go ahead and see what do we have. Maybe we are going to set only this one. Add to page. This is the image that I want to add because I don't want to let the image empty. So right away, here we have the, the image as your app icon. So we are going to click on next. Then here we are going to choose the theme. So we have only uh, a lot, not only, but we have a lot of themes you can see here. So choose one of these, then you are going to click on next. Here, you're going to choose a navigator layout for Jack sample. As you can see here, we have the bottom uh, tab bar or the top tab bar. The bottom tab bar is here. We have the preview. The top is here. Also, we are going to click on next. Now we have, as you can see, the app. You can go ahead and preview it into your mobile. We can design right there uh, the app. So we are going to click on design app and it will show you right away the app. 
So here we have the app, the branded app. You can go ahead and sit, for example, here. Uh, you can add some elements, you can add some screens, you can uh, put uh, the design for there, and etc. You can see here all the menu, everything is clickable, and also edit everything is editable uh, here we have the previewer as you can see but uh, the goal of today's video or from today's video is to let you know how we can build that the initial steps or paths are set because we have uh, visited the wix uh, website then we have chosen the wix branded app after that you are going to see here this is the um as you can see the previewer it is a, a mobile version of a, a website so you can see here that everything is customizable for example for the header you can see here we can add an icon show the shopping cart or icon show the shot icon this is the shot icon you can see whatever you want from there you can go ahead and click on preview and view this into your mobile and you are going only to open the wix mobile so Right here on the screen, you can see here the menu or the screens in navigation. You can see here the home, which is this one. We have galleries, we have the shop, and we have FAQs. So you can add another navigation and name it wherever you want. For example, let's go ahead and name it. Let's say here we have shop about. I'm going to name it about us. So here we have it. I'm going to put it right there. Here we have the about us so right away we are going to put some elements into this specific area let's say that we are going to add some basic elements here now we are going to add maybe let's see you can add also embeds we have some blogs forums groups air whatever you want from here this is a not a very limited as someone or some uh, of the prior set so we are going to maybe add basic item let's see here a title you can go ahead and drag and drop it then we are going to add a paragraph or this is the here so here we have the title you can modify the title right there i'm going to put here about us so here we have the text i'm going simply to write there about us we are for example a brand that make some colors colors to like this is just an example so you can choose the type of the paragraph here you can set the alignment also for this one you can go ahead and put it here at the middle and here we have it so here for the design you have the right to choose the app theme change it you can get the color theme change it also the theme or the text theme and finally the header style you can go ahead and put it right there the primary the background here we have the header here if you want to put it transparent uh, like that to show up the background for example you're going to choose here the background color theme go ahead and choose whatever you want from there so and from the elements we have a lot of things that you can go ahead and search finally when you finish everything you are going to click on save like this and here we have the as you can see the uh, message for the confirmation i want to showcase something to you here on the uh, menu for example this is the home page when you click on the products you will get the option to show whatever products from here you can go ahead and select the category if you want to show up something and this is a carousel as you can see here we have the display mode or settings you can go ahead and put it here fit or crop here there's not a very big difference between those two you can set here the margins and we can set the element visibility here we have the option to set it for android ios or for all and here we have the social icons we have here the uh, get in touch right there are the contact uh, page from there uh, here for the header you can go ahead and, and showcase 
or there the title and also the cover photo modify from there that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one